Hey there, folks. This is Rocky Red Panda here at PNDC News. It is Tuesday, and we're going to be dipping into piracy with How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long and David Shannon. And look at the back. There's a skull and crossbow. So let's dip into How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long and David Shannon. By Hair Court Incorporated. Printed by Melinda Long. Written by Melinda Long and illustrated by David Shannon. Mm. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day when I was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbone on it and because I could hear the pirates sing, hey ho, blow the men down, when they were a little off key. I should have sang it, hey ho, blow the men down. I tried to tell Dad, but he was busy, busy setting up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell Mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the hip pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy there, matey! Be this the Spanish main? No, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. You must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. He walked around my sandcastle, he looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew, He's a digger! He is! And he's a good one to boot! A good one to boot! The others agreed. What be your name, matey? The head pirate asked. Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braidbeard and his crew. We've been needing a digging like yourself. We've a chest of treasure to bury. Aye, treasure, the other shouted. You're coming with us, Braidbeard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. As soon as we are on board, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Go find me a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we're off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted, and then we set sail. Huh. 
There were plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea shanties. The louder, the better. And to say real pirate stuff like land lubber and scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braid Beard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, Down the hatches, me laddies! Down the hatch! We all shouted. Braid Beard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat! The meat! We all roared. Nobody told us to finish our spinach. There wasn't any. Or to chew up our carrots. They weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full and nobody said please or thank you. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braidbeard kicked the ball and yelled, Arg! Sucker! Arg! Sucker! The crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once, and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties! Braidbeard commanded. After it? We all whispered. We fought over who would go get the ball, but it didn't matter anyways, because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. By now, it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed and to take a bath or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case, and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to except for maybe squabbling the deck. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in? He bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books, I asked. Braidbeard looked confused. Books? But I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails! Braidbeard shouted. Batter down the hatches! Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, flash, crash, crack, lightning hit the mast and slid it right down the middle. What we do now, yelled one of the pirates. Oh, I have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot.
When the storm was over, we rowed back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Greybeard handed me a flag and said, You make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, Recruit replied. If you ever need us, Greybeard added, Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, another shouted, and maybe I will, but not today. I have soccer, soccer practice. And that was How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long and David Shannon. And boy, that pirate voice kind of makes your voice kind of raspy. You can buy this book through Amazon, your local bookstore, and of course, you can rent it out at your local library. Of course, it's been fun. I enjoy these Tuesday reads, and I'm glad you guys can enjoy it with me. Next week, we have another read, Lily's. Purple Plastic Purse by Kevin Hinkies. So, until next week, guys, keep on reading, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Reads, especially other shows on PND Studios, make sure you like and subscribe. That's right, like and subscribe Arr! for more awesome videos. And also check me out on all fur media.